Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since I've done a review on stuff. So, uh, yeah, um, this here is the NECA 1994 uh, uh, figure. Uh, it's it's pretty well articulated. Um, I, 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 I would do a formal review, but I'm going to do this really quick. Um, the reason I haven't been posting recently uh, any reviews or stuff like that, you know, any video at all, First of all, school. I have middle school, and I have to, and I take a longer time to what's it called? Get out. So I just, I just barely uh, work on videos, which is sad. Uh, I'll, I'll try my best to, you know, try to upload videos here and there. But like, I know I've been uploading a ton of crap posts, but it's all I can do right now. All right. I'm sorry if it's bad quality, but or content. But, um, yeah, so, and also because I want to upload reviews on my second channel, Alan Pictures, I'll probably post it up here on the screen, like, right, right there. Yeah, and, uh, and yeah, that's mostly all I want to say. Now let's get into review. So, this is a bootleg. Now, you, some people might get pissed at me because I'm buying bootlegs, and that this is not the first time I've done this. Uh... This is the second time I've done it. This this sucks, by the way. Like, you're better off buying the the cheap the two packs. So, uh, yeah. All right. Sorry, I was doing something right now. But um, hold up. Let me. Can I increase the brightness? All right. There we go. Um, so this figure's overall pretty 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 good. Um, you can see the articulation. He has. I mean, nothing was stiff. I mean, the tail was kind of stiff, but like I put it in in water. Make sure you put it in the water for five minutes. Uh, if you're buying a deck figure that has it, that you know a new condition, I guess, or if you're buying a bootleg like I did, uh, put the water on on five, and then you know do that. Uh, so the articulate, I think the paint is pretty good. It's it's kind of similar to what Neca did, but I don't own Neca figure, so yeah. Um, his articulation is pretty good. He has a, a hint. It, this guy's mostly made out of hinges, basically. Uh, it's kind of a ball joint, I guess. It's more of a hinge, I guess. It's same thing here, you know, the drill. And here is maybe a ball joint, I don't know. And there's a hinge at the hand. Hold on, if I can get the hand in a position. Yeah, there we go. So you could just, you know, change it if you want. Uh, I don't know. There's a ball, okay. Ball joint at the head. This is a cover, so there's something underneath that, which I suspect is the regular, okay. Is the original ball joint. Then there's a slight ball joint at the head, and there's a hinge at the mouth. So, it doesn't close all the way, like most bootlegs do, so, um. But uh, hey, it's it's fine. It's still a good figure. For the leg, there's a just a and it's a full 360 at the leg that has no pain to do. This this leg it's a, it's a little bit odd to get used to, but like you can you you'll get used to it. Uh yeah. Then there's a hinge. Hey, this one's pretty tight though, so I suggest putting the this part in water, because uh, there's a hinge here, a swivel, and a swivel on the side. So it's not that hard to, um, you know, move. Unlike the actual micro figures, which take up is a pain to move. And then then there's a bullet joint at the leg, which I guess is good. Uh, next we have the uh, what do we call it? You tell there's a one, two, three, four. If you count this as a, as ball joints, and the le the tail is fu full of bendy wire, which you do have to heat up. So you either use hot water, or um, or you know an air dryer, a hair dryer. But it could warp if you use a hair dryer. So it's best if you use the water. Uh, it, it can do this. It, it, the thing is with the water, the paint will probably wash off. As for the paint, like I said, um, it's, it's pretty basic, I guess. It's kind of 
what's it called, fading from the tail, but like it's not that big of a problem. There's some on his nails and his toenails. Um, I don't know if it could be seen on camera, but this figure is like green. Like he he's he's like, I I mean then again most uh the original NECA figures of these fi guys were um, were green, but the thing is. This guy was packaged in his uh, reissue box. I'll probably put it up right here. Right here, yeah. So, you know, it's kind of a mystery. Uh, uh, you'll probably see him in um, Godzilla and Titana soon. Um, and to compare him, uh, well, let me get some figures I have. Here is the Playmates 2024 Godzilla. From the new Empire, pre uh, what's it called? Pre evolved figure. These are both the figures standing up. So, they and um, uh, this guy, so uh, what, what's another figure I have? Uh, Godzilla 2000, yeah. This guy's a pretty big boy. He's dead, by the way, Godzilla Titan. So, I'll probably make it, you know, um, obvious in the next. Which he's pretty small. Small boy. So, you know, yeah, I guess. Um, he stands roughly about um, almost seven seven inches. Crazy. Um, if you were to put him, you know, like this, he's about um, lengthened out um, 12 inches. So, sorry if you cannot see all that. I doubt you will see this in the in the final recording but yeah that's the end of this review uh yeah uh, see you guys next time and uh Godzilla and Titanus next episode will probably really soon so yeah bye